All right, welcome back. So in this session, we're going to be doing the finishing operation. A nice and easy way to do this is actually to come over here under the lathe rough and select it, right click on it, and there's a copy you want. Now, I'm not going to click it because I'm using the Home Learning Edition, and there's a bug in it when I start to copy, it will actually delete all of my toolpath. And this is just a bug in the Home Learning Edition. The Home, Lear home Learning Edition, uh, there's a few bugs in there, and this is probably the only one that I've come across. So far, there might be other bugs that I don't know about, but uh, this is the Home Learning Edition. Usually, those are not there in the real version. They fix them, but the Home Learning Edition, what they do is they'll come up with one version, and they won't really change it because this is just for the home use, and they don't really care to uh, spend some time on it. But this is a bug in just the Home Learning Edition of Mastercam X8, and if I try to copy, it deletes all of my toolpath for some reason. So I'm not going to do that, but what you would do is copy, and then you would right click on the area over here and you would select paste and it would copy this one to another this operation again and what you would do is then open up your operation and change the parameters so it's a different tool for the finishing operation but because we can't do that right now we're just going to go ahead and go to lathe and finish operation all right so nice thing over here same thing as the roughing operation is select all of these surfaces or faces and select ok and that's why the copy operation works really well is because you really uh, just have to copy everything that you're doing in the roughing and to the finishing, but you're just using a different tool. So before we forget, come over here to comments. Let's do finishing operation. Type in finishing operation. And again, these are comments for the operator to realize that this line uh, is for or this bunch of code is for the finishing. Okay. So uh, we've done the OD, uh, we've used the OD rough tool. We're going to have to come over and do the finishing tool. So we're going to come down until we see OD finish right. All right. And you can see that the radius is smaller. It's about half the radius of the other one. And if you go back to the OD rough right, you're going to notice it's 0 0.03. But for the uh, finish right, it's 0 0.015. So it's half of that uh, radius that it's on the other tool. So we'll select that tool and let's go to finishing parameters. Now, finishing parameters is very important to make sure that your stock to leave on X and Z are both zero. We don't want to leave any stock there. Finishing step over, uh, we can do 0.1. Now, I already know that I've left only 0.01 because of my roughing operation. So you make sure that the finishing step over is 0.01. So basically, all it does is come in and machine one pass uh, and taking care of all the material that's left. All right. Again, lead in and lead out, plunge, they're very similar to the roughing operation. Uh, we want to change maybe computer to where, and uh, I'll explain all of the other ones uh, as well. Okay, but uh, for this one, we're going to just use the where. And again, where is for compensating for the where of the tool. Let's go ahead and select OK. And there you go, you just see one little pass come in. That's the pass in the blue. Let's go ahead and place this into the front and make sure, verify that there is nothing left. And as you can see, I zoom in and there's no black area, shaded area left. Again, that's why I love using the shaded and not the uh, just the line outline of the stock. The shaded stock helps me see that I know I already finished all of that. And there you go, this finishes that. Let's go ahead and select all these operations. So I hit, I select, I um, held shift down and selected the top one because I already knew that first one was selected. This was selected right now in the green mark. I held shift and I selected the top one, selected all of them. Now I can go to the verify operation and let's go ahead and play that. You can see it added a finishing operation, which was uh, very small. So let's go ahead and verify all of that again. So it's going to machine all of your part. And there you go. It machines your entire part for you. All right, so there you go. Everything looks great. Now in our next session, we're going to get started with the drilling operation.